Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, and this time reviewing on Little Britain Abroad. Now, as you know, Little Britain Abroad was what I would say was a bit of a TV Christmas special, as well as a two-part series. Now, what's interesting is that the show pr pretty much shows... What happens when Little Britain characters go to other parts around the world? Like Carol Beer in Spain, Daffy Thomas in Mackinac, also basically Dudley and Ting Tong on their honeymoon, and so on. Now, the premise is meant to be simple. It's meant to focus on Little Britain characters in their own little ways of getting in trouble in other places, or so on. What's actually interesting is that the first episode was actually released on Christmas time on December the 25th, 2006, and the second episode was mainly released on the 30th of December, 2006. So what's actually interesting as well is that with basically certain um, sketches had a certain guest star. For example, with Bubbles De Vere in Monte Carlo has the famous actor Ronnie Corbett, known for playing in Sorry and also the comedy sketch show The Two Roomies. And also when basically the Kenny Craig one, you had Paul McKenna, also known for, for being a stage magician and a dietarist and everything, and even doing self-help books. So what's actually interesting as well is that when you actually look at Lou and Andy's sketch, they seem to take a lot of influence and a lot of ideas from Howie Hanfield's one, The Slobs, given the fact, much like The Slobs, Lou and Andy do, do go on a plane and do end up crash landing in the middle of nowhere. Unlike the slobs who end up in a jungle, there is a resort area which Lou doesn't know about except Andy. So I do feel, yeah, it's clear they took some inspiration from that sketch and actually may have also stole the idea from it because when you look at it, Harry Hanfield and Chums was kind of like the 90s Little Britain, in some way. And what's actually interesting is that I do see this as a bit of a pilot to Little Britain USA. And the sketches are pretty much almost the same, but mainly just focusing on different parts around the world. And I was kind of expecting Emily Howard to be one of them, to have her in Japan trying to train to be a geisha girl. It could have been interesting and a good idea. And there were some deleted scenes, like when you had the two elderly couple putting up with Carol's BX crap, there is a deleted scene where they eventually lose it with her, and other characters were originally going to appear. Like, one with Linda who goes, Martin, it's Linda, that was going to get a taste of her own medicine. I guess some of the sketches didn't prove funny, but I feel if they added the Carol Beer one, it could have been a lot funnier. So I feel, yeah, if you have watched this loads of times, then the jokes aren't as funny as what they used to be. And it's kind of that point when you realise if you watch Little Britain loads of times, it just quickly loses its spark. So I think somewhere... Little Britain did went abroad and was definitely not bad. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.